What if the robots you depend on one day turns against you? Have you ever considered that? As insane as it sounds, it could soon become reality thanks to companies like Boston Dynamics, makers of the world's most advanced robots. Today, we're going to dive into their latest humanoid robots atlas and reveal why so many leaders across tech, business, and defense are actually afraid of it. I'll answer questions you never even thought to ask, like will we be saved by human-like machines one day or they will end up replacing us? Did Atlas eventually become an unstoppable Terminator-style like killing machine? Let's begin at the start and go down the rabbit hole together. First things first, who and what exactly is Boston Dynamics? Formed in 1992 as a spin-off from MIT, Boston Dynamics is known for creating some of the most impressive maneuverable robots out there, many originally made for use across the American military like Big Dog, a dog-like robot with four legs that can carry 340 pounds over 12.5 miles while moving at up to 7 miles per hour. Yeah, that's faster than the most humans. Other Boston Dynamics robots include Spot, a dog machine for capturing data in extreme terrain, Wildcat, a four-legged machine that can run to 9 miles per hour without tipping over, and Cheetah that clocks nearly 30 miles per hour, far faster than the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt. But Boston Dynamics' biggest and most ambitious robot by far is Atlas. Let me explain. Atlas made the first appearance after the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan. The chaotic events was a huge wake-up call for the robotics industry because when workers sent in helper robots, they quickly short-circuited, got stuck, and were basically useless. Ignoring marketing promises of robots swooping in to save the day, they did the opposite and got in the way. The Defense Department of Boston Dynamics decided this could never happen again given threats of nuclear conflict, possible calamities, and human jobs deemed too dangerous. And so the ambitious Atlas program was born with the loose aim of creating nimble, dexterous humanoid robots for emergency rescue work and eventually to integrate into daily life for caring for the elderly and completing mundane tasks. Now watch this comparison of Atlas then versus now and tell me your mind isn't blown. The 2012 version looked like a drunk baby giraffe, clunky and awkward. Now, check out 2023 Atlas casually parkour over obstacles like boxes and wood platforms. Graceful, right? It showcases advanced mobility that allows Atlas to easily adapt its gait, how it moves, to handle extreme terrain. But wait, there's more coolness. Watch Atlas effortlessly balance on a wooden plank, picks up a heavy bag and lobs it over an obstacle to a worker. Then it sits down another plank to a crossover and masterfully leaps into the air doing a backflip. I don't know about you, but 10 years ago, I would never have believed robots could move like this. So how did Boston Dynamics make this exponential leap ahead? In recent years, they pack Atlas full of state-of-the-art tech that allows it to perceive objects using distance sensors, understand spatial awareness much like humans, select appropriate movements from a huge database of templates, then make slight variations to handle new tasks and terrains. This is key. Before, every single potential scenario required hardcore programming of precise movements ahead of time. Now, Atlas taps machine learning and predictive algorithms to take known movements like running, grabbing, or jumping, then makes micro changes to adapt. For example, say Atlas calculates it needs to leap 12 inches across a gap to clear it. If the gap becomes 14 inches at the last minute, Atlas perceives this, pull more power into its hydraulics and adjust in real time to stretch further across the distance. The result is stunning robots that seem aware, nimble, and eerily human. While great for search and rescue work in disasters, helping elderly in homes, taking over dangerous jobs and other peaceful aims, Boston Dynamics claim to stand for, autonomous dexterity does raise ethical alarms when you think it do. Like, what's to stop these robotic capabilities leading to autonomous robot soldiers down the road? If you find this video informative and shocking so far, please take a quick moment to smash the like button and consider clicking subscribe plus bell to join the community. Your support keeps me creating. Now back to Atlas Controversy. Yes, it's true that videos have surfaced allegedly showing advanced Boston Dynamics robots firing military-grade weapons with extreme accuracy. However, the company denies these claims that their text is being weaponized. 
I tend to believe them because Boston Dynamics has always maintained Atlas development is for humanitarian purposes only. But here are facts we know. The U.S. Department of Defense runs initiatives to create autonomous aircraft that one day replace human pilots. These unmanned vehicles can already fly and maneuver based on algorithmic logic and machine learning without needing remote control. And in February 2023, the DoD announced an AI-based prototype flew a fighter jet over 17 hours straight. Pretty soon, most military tech will run on algorithms able to make complex decisions independently. And the autonomous drone genie is already out the bottle. The French army uses a specialized quadruple spot robot, which shocks many that assume Boston Dynamics steer clear of military work. But China, Russia, and other race to develop futuristic unmanned weapons, how long until the Pentagon comes knocking eager to weaponize Atlas variants down the road? Imagine robot soldiers requiring no salary, sleep, or personal time off. And since they have no conscience, deploying them cuts around the addicts of sacrificing troops. Once Pandora's box cracks open for autonomous robots to independently track, aim, and hit human targets, it probably won't close again. Which means the main question becomes, if pushed by governments eager to get ahead of global military rivals, will Boston Dynamics resist calls to weaponize their robots? And if not them, what's to stop copycat version doing so regardless? Could hack robots also present a threat in anything from infrastructure like our power grid being taken down to compromising top secret data? Look at the Cloud Gripper innovation show in Atlas latest videos proves robots are mastering dynamic real-world skills once reserved for humans only and fast. So while futuristic humanoid helpers could transform society for the better, saving lives, toiling at grunt work and caring for the elderly, unchecked militarization does not pose an ethical dilemma for us all. Because like other cutting-edge innovations, artificial intelligence and robotics present risk equal to their benefits. Personally, I believe we are fast approaching a point of no return where technology leaps too far ahead for humans to control the outcomes. Some call it singularity which is a scary concept indeed. And Atlas is one shiny example helping accelerate us down that path. Robots clearly make our lives better in so many ways. But the deeper issue needs addressing around autonomous weapons. Think of it this way. Drones already making killing more convenient because risks to pilots are removed. Research shows that lawmakers are more willing to deploy a lethal force when their own troops aren't endangered. So remove the human controller altogether as AI and robotics evolve, and there are less barriers standing in the way of starting or escalating conflicts. Scientists even have a name for this phenomenon, the Lethal Autonomous Weapons Precipice. It refers to the temptation of unleashing dangerous unconventional weapons simply because ethical constraints have been stripped away. And if you think government wouldn't actually slide down this slippery slope, just look at how chemical and nuclear weapons debuted early last century. So what do you think? Do benefits outweigh risk when it comes to emergence robot technology showcased by Atlas and Boston Dynamics? Are checks and balances needed regarding developing autonomous lethal weapons? Let's discuss in the comments below.